Welcome back! Today we are going to be opening up a battery to let you know what's inside. I'm Jonathan Allers, this is Luke the Chemistry Guy, and we're going to try and make this as safe as possible. This is Destructive Creativity. We exist for you, for science, and for fun. But today, we are going to be doing a lot more emphasis on chemistry and the science behind batteries. It's really cool. So if you enjoy this, make sure you click that subscribe button and the like button and every other button that you want to push. First off, should we be doing this? Probably not. Okay. It's important to know right now, we're doing this so that you don't have to. The, if you do this incorrectly or if you don't know what you're doing, you have a very strong probability of going blind or burning your house down. We know what's in these batteries and we've chosen batteries that don't have any of the dangerous chemicals or possibility of electrical fires. So we will be safe. I'm going to be gone for most of this video because I'm going to be running the cameras. You're the one that's actually going to be doing the demolition because you have the most experience and you kind of know what you're doing. So while I get set up with the different cameras and audio equipment, how about you explain the different types of batteries and which one we're going to be demolishing today? Sure. So there's lots of different kinds of batteries that are available commercially. There's zinc carbon batteries, alkaline batteries, lithium ion batteries, nickel cadmium batteries, nickel metal hydride batteries, lead acid batteries, and quite literally there are innumerable numbers of others that you don't ever see. Uh, we are going to be opening up zinc carbon batteries. The reason for that is they are a lot simpler in construction, so you can actually take them apart effectively, and they don't contain anything that if they get out into the environment they're going to cause damage, or if they get on your skin they're going to burn you. So we're going to head outside and go to our battery ripping open station thing. Start off just safety gear, always have goggles, so we'll put them on. A bit later I'll put on the rubber gloves, but to begin with it's a bit nicer just to have your hands. So to begin, you get a flathead screwdriver and your battery. Uh, somewhere on the battery there is a crease, and basically what you're going to do is you're just going to pry that crease open. Which takes a little bit of doing. Which one that is. Pry it up, and it's just a matter of rolling it back. Ooh. So it'll pop open like that. This is just a steel casing that does nothing except look pretty. And these are just pieces of the positive terminal that are also garbage. So next, it just has a plastic covering over the whole thing. So this you can just peel off. Once you break it at one spot, it should just peel off if you just follow it. So the plastic holds on this steel piece that's part of the negative terminal. Both of those are also garbage. You set those to the side. But the metal here is the zinc in the carbon zinc battery. It is responsible for the reaction that occurs to generate the electricity. But up here is just a rubber gasket type thing. This you can just peel up and kind of wiggle it off the center there. That is also just garbage that you can set aside. And from this point, as you can see, I already have stuff on my hands. It's not toxic, so not a big deal, but it's kind of a messy thing to work with. So I'm gonna put gloves on from here on out. And from here, you're going to get your needle nose pliers and you're going to gently squeeze the carbon rod in the center and basically you just want to rotate it and gently pull it out of the casing. that's free. This here is a carbon rod. This is the carbon of zinc carbon battery. Um, its purpose is basically just to act as an electrical connector for 
the inner components to the positive terminal. Uh, it's useful for a bunch of things, but for now we're just gonna set it aside. Next, you're gonna take your screwdriver again. This top part here is just a piece of paper that you can throw away as well. And so in the casing, there's this black goop, and that goop is manganese dioxide. It is the other component that is important for the battery. It has a consistency that of that like slightly dried mud. So basically you're just gonna stab into it with a screwdriver and wiggle it out. So as you near the end, you're probably gonna be ripping out pieces of paper. So what you do with that is you just, anytime you see paper, just set it aside and we'll throw that out when we're done. So next, you're going to take your tin snips and you're just going to cut the zinc casing in half. So one cut along one side, another cut directly opposite, then peel it open. And the crease that's made at the bottom, just snip through that. And then you just find any bits of paper that are remaining on the zinc casing scrape them off, set them aside. And that is a battery. So these are all of the major components of your battery. You've got the manganese dioxide, zinc, some paper, and the casing that goes around everything. So the only two components that are chemically necessary here, oh, also the carbon rod, don't forget that. The only two components that are chemically necessary are the manganese dioxide and the zinc casing. That's how we generate the electrical current that we use to power our flashlights or whatever. Uh, the carbon rod, all it does is it acts as a connection between the manganese dioxide and the positive terminal of the battery. Uh, the paper just acts as a barrier between the manganese dioxide and the zinc. And this outside bit just makes it look pretty. Uh, so that's basically all there is to a zinc carbon battery. So now you know what's inside one particular kind of battery, um, but you don't know why the things that are inside it work together to create an electrical current that you can use to power things. We're gonna get into that in the next video because this is the start of a series of videos on batteries. Should be fun. Cool, I'm learning things that I didn't know before, or if I did know, I'd learned them a long time ago in school. Anyways, this is the beginning of a series on batteries. So we're gonna be taking the next couple of weeks here and we're gonna be going into a deep dive on why batteries work and how those particular elements of the battery which we took apart create an electrical charge that you can use in flashlights and everything. So stay tuned, next week is the science behind why batteries work. It's really cool, I'm excited. Stay tuned for Destructive Creativity. I'm Jonathan Allers. Luke Wagner. <laughs> the chem guy. See you next time. Bye.